actually a player that we reached out to Boston about uh, back in July. You know, viewed him at that point as a potential bounce back candidate, and we maintained the, the dialogue off and on throughout the off season, and were able to bring the deal home late last night, and then obviously an announcement this morning. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. The Phillies continue to revamp their roster heading into 2017, trading for veteran Red Sox right-hander Clay Buckholz in exchange for infield prospect Josh Tobias. Buckholz, who will enter the season in the final year of his contract, finished 2016 strong for Boston, going 3-0 with a 3.14 ERA in five September starts. He basically is on a one-year contract, much like Jeremy Hellickson, who's on a one-year $17.2 million contract. I think what they're hoping in both of those uh, cases is both pitched very, very well, and they become very attractive trade pieces uh, before the July 31st trade deadline. The Red Sox weren't the only AL East team wheeling and dealing on Tuesday, as the Indians acquired right-hander Nick Goody from the Yankees in exchange for a player to be named or cash considerations. The 25-year-old Goody was a sixth-round selection by the Yankees in 2012 and will compete for a job in a deep Cleveland bullpen this spring. The Indians made another move earlier in the day, signing Chris Colabello to a minor league deal. The former Blue Jays first baseman and outfielder hit 321 with 15 homers in 2015, but played just 10 games in 2016 after an 80-game suspension for a violation of MLB's Joint Drug Prevention and Treatment Program. San Diego strengthened its starting staff by signing Southpaw Clayton Richard to a one-year deal. The veteran hurler pitched for the Padres from 2009 through 2013 and returned to San Diego in 2016 after being designated for assignment by the Cubs. He joins a youthful Padres roster where his experience will be in high demand. He's obviously comfortable in San Diego after they signed him last year. I think his ERA was 252. He's a good clubhouse guy and I, I think the most interesting thing about the signing is uh, he's 33 which is almost four years older than anyone else on the Padres 40-man roster. Elsewhere in the NL West, Arizona added to its outfield depth by reportedly agreeing to terms with free agent outfielder Oswaldo Arcia. The 25-year-old Venezuelan bounced around the bigs in 2016, splitting time between the Twins, Rays, Marlins, and Padres, and route to a 203 average with eight home runs. He'll have to compete for big league playing time in a crowded D-backs outfield. For more on these stories and for all the hot stove headlines throughout the league, Keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.